Further weakness in commodities prices is having a negative influence on currencies like the Canadian and Australian dollars. The Australian dollar is also struggling a bit in the aftermath of a below forecast Aussie GDP print earlier today, while the Canadian dollar hasn't been getting any help from its own data, with last Friday's Canada jobs report adding to the selling pressure. In fact, the Canadian dollar has been the worst performing currency in the G10 group over the past three months, with the Australian dollar doing only slightly better over that time. WTI crude prices have been a major drag, trading down to the lowest level of the year earlier today. This sets up an interesting Bank of Canada decision, which is likely to open even more volatility in the Canadian dollar. There is a split on whether or not the Bank of Canada will go 25 or 50 basis basis points with the slight edge leaning for a 50 base point base 50 basis point rate hike on account of a recent robust GDP print and ongoing upward pressure on inflation. Moving on, the yen has been weaker after BOJ Kuroda and Nakamura were out with dovish speak. Data in the eurozone was better than expected again today after a solid performance on Tuesday. Looking ahead, we get US mortgage applications, the Bank of Canada decision, an ECB Panetta speech and US consumer credit. That's all 